face. <laughs> what have you got there? A book. A book? You're always reading books. You're becoming a regular bookie. Nathan, darling, this is very interesting. The doctor gave it to me. I went to him about my cold. How is your cold? It's the same. So the doctor asked me how long I'd had it. And I told him a long time. So he said to read this book because he said it might be due to, um, psychology. You never got that, have you? <laughs> Nathan, darling, this is psychology. It tells you why girls do certain kinds of things. Now, what do you think I got in this box? Sally's wedding shop. I can't guess. It's a wedding veil. I've had it for three years, but I won't show it to you because it's bad luck. Would you like to see it? It's bad luck. So you see, Nathan, I got the veil. All we need now is a license. We need a blood test. A what? Blood test. It's a law. What a city. First they close my crap game, then they open my veins. Nathan, you're not planning on running your crap game again? Adelaide, how could you think such a thing? Why do you think I gave up the crap game? It's because I love you, and I want us two to be the happiest married couple that there is in the world. <laughs> you. I'm all dated up tomorrow night with Society Max. You know what he does? He blows it all because of your dopey crap game. Honest Adelaide, I pity you. Adelaide, look at me. I'm down on my knees. Oh, get up! It reminds me of your, of your crap game! Look, you're getting yourself all upset. After all, you and I are going to be all right. We love each other, and we're going to get married. I don't believe you anymore. Look, you'll feel better tomorrow. Come on, cheer up, honey. Let's see that old smile. That's my girl. I'll see you tomorrow. It says here, the average unmarried female a basically insecure due to some long frustration may react with psychosomatic symptoms and difficult to Deutschland. 